says recording. So riding with my grandpa <laughs> I was gonna go in for the day but he was out cleaning his bike and I was like hey you wanna go for a ride and he was like I was just about to go for a ride and I was like okay let's do this <laughs> I'm a part of this now I'm riding with a 2005 or 2006 VTX 1300 so yeah we're just taking a cruise um yeah if you guys don't know, uh, which I kind of already introduced it, I'm going to do it again, because just to annoy you, I'm just going to introduce it again. 13, uh, 2006, I believe, 1300 VTX C. I think they make th they make three different models, and I, and I believe that one is the C version. I don't know. This is like the Sport, and the other one's like Muscle, and the other one's like, I don't know what the crap, but uh, my dad had a Muscle one. It was like the uh, S or something like that. And uh, I, I forget because I'm not really like I don't know everything about those VTXs, so I'm like I don't know, but I know there's an S, a C, and I think I might be wrong on this, but it's either F or V. The other one is or something like that. I don't, I can't remember. Who cares? Okay. But this bike, uh, when I ride, I've only rode it twice on the channel. I don't ride it a lot because it's not my bike, and I don't like riding other people's bikes that much, but. Um, I may do another video on the game because you guys seem to love it on YouTube. You guys love the VTX. I don't know uh, what it is about that bike, that one in particular. Um, you guys love it. Like, I got, I think, a thousand views on the one video. The other video is like 4,000 views on my first ride. And, uh, yeah, you guys like the VTXs. I don't know what that is about that, but. Uh, you guys love them. I personally, the only thing I don't like about it is the windshield because I wear a full face helmet. Blah, blah, blah. I wear a full face helmet all the time. So, uh, and I, I don't care for the windshield because it interferes. It kind of drags you from the head back a little bit like that. So that's kind of why I don't like it. But other than that, I mean, I take the windshield off and it would be pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I like that bike. It's pretty nice. Love the way it rides. I don't think you can find a bike that rides quite the way that it does. I mean, it's and plus his bike's really quiet, so there's no like rev. You're not gonna rev bomb anybody. You could try. You could try, but it ain't gonna happen. They're gonna laugh at you. They're gonna say, "Really? Did you just do that with that exhaust?" Well, I'll tell you right now. It's a little profile. That's what that thing is. Because I guarantee you it will smoke a lot of bikes on the road. Because I've rode it. And it, I haven't actually got to actually ride it. Because, like, you know what I mean. Get it past 55, really. 60 I've been on it. But I can tell you guys right now. It's got balls for a motorcycle. For a 1300, I mean, it's, it moves pretty well. Uh, yeah, I know you guys, your ultra guys are going to come in here and be, like, talking smack. But, uh... Hey man, it's just, was, I'm not down anybody. I'm just saying it's got balls. Man. <clears throat> it, it, I, it, we haven't raced because my grandpa's not about that race life, but <laughs> or seeing who bike whose bike is faster. But um, it would be mine, easy every year. I guarantee it. And the Magnus fast. I beat a lot of people with this bike. But I'm telling you guys, because this one's jetted and all this good goody stuff, and it's got all the all the extra horsepower. <laughs> I got my uh, need to get my Vroom Vroom Dana sticker on the back, but I'm not about putting stickers all over. But uh, add that extra two horsepower. But um, it would be mine easily. I'm telling you guys, maybe not with him riding it, because he won't race it, but. Uh, you get somebody that wants to race you, it to beat mine easy. And I'm fine with losing. I just... If you lose, it's all it's all about how you lose, too. Like, oh, God, we're slowing down. That was a slow slop, loppy, sloppy, droppy. That cobwebs... 
up underneath the rear fender because he doesn't ride it very much. Somebody threw out a pizza box. Domino's. Uh, favorite pizza place. Let's just do this for this video because I don't know what I'm doing. So, Put in the comments... Rate the five pizza places, and if it's something I've never heard of, then I can't, I can't like argue with you if it's not good or not. So, um, I'm gonna just do the five ones that you guys should know, because we do have some local ones that aren't anywhere else but here. Um, so I'm just gonna do the ones that everybody knows, like Domino's Pizza, uh, Papa John, stuff like that. So, uh, in an order, I'm gonna give you guys my favorite pizza from places that are. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they're all over the world. Japan has these places. Um, I don't know if Japan has these places, but I would assume so. But I'm sure Japan has a Pizza Hut, okay? I'm like, yeah. But, um, uh, my favorite, I would have to go with Papa John's is going to be my favorite out of my top five. It's going to be number one. Um, I'm going to have to go with Little Caesars. Uh, they're number two. <laughs> and uh, no, Papa John's and Little Caesars is not. They, I know some people claim that they make the same kind of pizza. They do not make the same kind of pizza. Um, and really, from Little Caesars, all I really like is the, the the hot and ready one. So you can't really, I guess, you can't really count it. But you can't count it because because I'm gonna count it. Uh, so pizza or pff, pizza? I will <laughs> Papa John's, Little Caesars. Papa John's Little Caesars, uh, Pizza Hut, uh, Domino's, and what other one is there that's like everybody knows? Uh, I think, uh, is there a place called Jack's Pizza that's like worldwide? I think it's a worldwide pizza place. If it's not, then I'm, I'm sorry, then I have a local one, but uh, it's called Jack's Pizza, so I'll put them in fifth because they're kind of good and they're kind of not. I mean, it's pizza. Come on, guys. You can't down pizza. Even if it's sucky pizza, you kind of like it because it's pizza, you know what I mean? So yeah, Papa John's, Little Caesars, Pizza Hut, Domino's, and Jack's Pizza. I think Jack's Pizza is worldwide. I could be wrong on this, but and I probably am, but that's my five in a row top pizza places. My favorite to my least favorite of my five, top five. But I still like Jack's Pizza. I mean, I'm not down on him or anything. He's got good pizza. It's just... I just prefer the other ones over him. The Calvin. Look at all the deer, guys. This is a deer petting zoo. They're real deer, too. I don't know if you can catch it on camera, but... They're there. They're 100% there. I don't know if the camera will catch it or not. What is this guy doing? I'm not quite sure what you're doing, buddy, but, uh... I appreciate you not pulling out in front of me. Or me and my... My grandfather. <laughs> but yeah, that's my top five. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys have local ones you like better, just throw them in there and I'll look them up. I may order one offline or something because you guys said they're good. I'm a big pizza dude, man. Love pizza. I think everybody's got to put pizza like the number one on their list of foods of all time. If you put anything else than pizza, I'm just going to call you weird. I'm just saying. If you... If, if you put anything else as your number one food, I'm going to have to call you a little weird. Unless it's like something really good, like steak or something. Then I'll agree with you. But but I still think pizza is better. I mean, I, I, I've, I've had some good steaks, and I like steak. But if you ask me if I was the last day on earth, what would I want? I would probably pick probably pizza. And I know that's kind of weird, but it just kind of is what I would pick. Because it is what I would pick.